Sammy Rene from the upcoming. How are you? Very well, thank you. How are you? Very good, thank you. So for our fans, I understand you're the composer of the film. What have you done specifically? Have you done the theme of the film or have you done every individual scene as well? Well, you can hear a bit of the music I've done in the background. This is the theme. Um, yeah, I've, I've written all of the music. I've written uh, also the song, uh, all the songs you'll hear in the credits. In fact, everything apart from one moment, which is a little bit of Elgar you hear in a cage, which is a bit of source material, but everything else you hear, uh, absolutely everything else you hear is music written by me, yeah. It actually sounds really good, because I can, I can hear it. It's kind of relaxing, yet it has an intense aspect. Do you know what I mean? Well, I hope I know what you mean. <laughs> so, yeah, no, well, hopefully it works You'll, uh, when you see the film. Have you seen the film yet? Not yet, but I'm going to. Great. Well, I hope you enjoy it. That's really cool. What was the process that you used to compose the music for that film? Because obviously it's a film that everyone knows. So I'm um, the, the, the process that you used. Oh, yeah. So, so really, I mean, we're going back to the original Roger Kipling source material. So the whole idea here was to really get into Andy's head, his perception or his vision for the film, and to try and realize that in terms of creating a new musical language. So I spent quite a lot of time, for example, watching Rohan Chand, um, in, uh, who plays Mowgli, in various scenes, um, just getting across his different psychological states. And I sat there with the piano just literally trying to work through theme ideas so I mean and then once I had that theme uh, then everything came from that you know I mean there's lots of different moments you can hear right behind me now you can hear um, a piece of music which my mum actually wrote the lyrics for and um, so so she she's um, writes beautiful poetry in Hindi so I, I asked her to do that and it kind of worked for this particular scene Frida Pinto um, Frida Pinto sings this song later this isn't her but she sings the song in the film um, at one point as a lullaby so yeah I mean it's been great and you know going over to South Africa spending time there uh, even walking through the jungle with uh, with Andy and uh, doing all kinds of things it was a really immersive process yeah I can actually hear it, it does work yeah totally <laughs> what was the the hardest scene for you to compose maybe because it was an intense scene or whatever you felt what was the hardest one I think the hardest scene for me to, to um, compose the music for was when there's one particular scene where um, Bakira played by uh, Christian Bale the panther he's uh, he's speaking to Mowgli in the cage and to capture that intensity of emotion between them there's a beautiful um, relationship and a beautiful uh, intensity in the way they're speaking to each other but it's very quiet and it's very subtle and nuanced so to get that across uh, was was a big thing you can hear another this this is a radio mix of the theme <laughs> so yeah cool so yeah so um, yeah no it's been great can we buy the music individually yeah the music is actually uh, already on Spotify uh, I think it's gonna be released on uh, physically uh, probably in the new year I'm not sure it might be out soon but you can hear it already on Spotify um, the entire the entire soundtrack so if you get a chance to listen to it I hope you enjoy it of course and what's last question what was what's the background of your relationship with Andy um, I just I've known Andy a long time I did um, two video games with him uh, I started with Heavenly Sword and then we did Enslaved with the brilliant writer and director Alex Garland um, and then I did uh, Breathe with him last year which is with Andrew Garfield and Claire Foy so I scored the music for that and then um, and so we've known each other about 15 years and we've been friends and I've worked with him on a number of projects so yeah I mean, no one's ever seen facial uh, expressions like this on that it's so convincing and I think um, you know the, I mean, the bottom of the so you get a you get a real kind of active performance. It's got such an incredible cast, and, and so from that point of view, um, it's been amazing to score. Also, the idea of going over to South Africa, spending time with Andy in the jungle, actually, you know, really experiencing it, is really invaluable as a composer. Yeah, I, I wanted to make sure that uh, I could spend time with. Uh, uh, trying to get the theme, Mowgli's theme right, and so so I kind of spent ages just looking at different uh, different scenes with with Mowgli, with Rohan Chand, kind of performing in all kinds of different psychological states, and then each time I was playing the piano along with those, so that I could kind of get uh, get a theme that kind of worked with every aspect of who Mowgli was, and that was really interesting. Then everything kind of came from that, I guess. So it was about finding Mowgli's theme first, and then everything. Once you have that overture. 
know, everything can be taken from that and, uh, and then the whole universe kind of gradually unfolds. So I've been very lucky to know Andy for a very long time. I mean, I, I met him, uh, I don't know, about 15 years ago and I worked on the, uh, two video games with him, Heavenly Sword uh, and then Enslaved, which we did together with the brilliant writer-director Alex Garland. Um, then I was lucky enough to work with Breathe last year, which was um, a great film, I think, you know, with Andy Garfield and Andrew Garfield and Claire Foy. Um, so this, this feels like, you know, um, but this film has been going on for quite a while and actually Breathe uh, wasn't supposed to be Andy's debut, you know, this was supposed to be his debut and, um, and for whatever reasons this has been, you know, kind of a long time coming. So it's, it's fantastic to, to have that kind of whole uh, working relation, relationship come to this now, you know, I'm, I just think it's a brilliant film and I said to him when I first saw it, it's a masterpiece and, and I think, uh, I still think it is. It, it feels like it's it's the first film like this that I've ever seen that's got a real Shakespeare and gravitas in the acting performances and in the directions and the photography. Well, I work, um, I'm working a lot with the Imaginarium. Uh, we're talking about um, all, all kinds of things from augmented reality projects to um, virtual reality and also further kind of uh, TV series and other things. So, yeah, I'm, I'm chatting a lot to Andy about the things we're doing. So, yeah, we're, we're going to, we're, we're friends, so we're going to carry on working together.